do a quick video of this Husqvarna Viking quilt designer sensor system that I'm listing on eBay. Uh, this used to be my mother's. Uh, she used it for a few years, about 18, 19 years, and then she uh, no longer is using it, so she's uh, turned it over to me to, to sell. So I don't know it real well, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a tutorial and show you it uh, so you can see whether you like it or not. Uh, so it comes with the, the machine, obviously. The original foot pedals there. It comes with uh, the original user's guide, an accessory guide, and then some magazine of sorts, and then the uh, original warranty uh, paper is is there as well. So uh, also comes with two of the oh, sorry three of the D cards, uh, A, E, and O. So A is in the machine, and you'll see uh, E and O right there. So a little bit of, uh, about it. So it comes with a number of feet and bobbins, some of which uh, already have thread on it. Um, obviously there's one foot in the machine already. I sewed on, uh, on it uh, today and earlier this week, so got some thread in the way. But uh, you can see it does a, a variety of, of patterns. These are it's an A, a K, a 4, a U, an 8, and an M. Uh, there, I probably put my finger in the way, uh, but I'll give you a little tour around it just so you can see all that it does. So it stores the uh, the thread there, and actually there's a place where you can put another uh, spool if you want to, but uh, allows you to raise and lower the needle, uh, raise uh, the foot pedal, put it down, uh, do a little U-turn. Uh, stop in this fix button uh, lights up when it's uh, fixing some stitches or kind of goes back over itself before it goes on to the next stitch. So um, a variety of different stitches that are on the uh, A card, uh, just kind of your normal basic stitch and you'll see you're able to go into the screen and, and adjust that to do the stitch length which is on the left there, the left for length. Uh, the width there, and I don't know what this is, but like I said, it's never been my machine, so I don't pretend to know a lot about it. Uh, the different stitch patterns on the left, you kind of have to pass, pa press to the left of it uh, to get it to, to work, but that's the only one that I've, I've noticed, uh, only issue that I've noticed, but I'm going to sew on it a little bit, or sew with it a little bit, so you can see that it works. I'll start with just a normal straight stitch uh, for now. So I put it on uh, A, so you can see this is uh, card A, number one, and so that's showing you that we're going to do uh, A1, which is on the left, uh, and then two is in the middle, three is on the right. So this is uh, A1, just stitching on the left. So you see the needles on the left, and we'll sew a little bit here. Let's see that it works. We'll do different stitch pattern. We'll do this zigzag of sorts. So it kind of fixes itself, goes back over that stitch before it goes to another one. showing up there and we'll put in another card so you can see the other card works this is card e1 we'll do this swooping thing back and forth number five so and again you can adjust this the length uh, the width etc so Make it longer, 
etc. As you'd like it, so. This, not sure what the book is called, number 23. A straight stitch with a sideways stitch. You can see the uh, sideways view. Branch one number twelve, you can see there. branch one there so so that is it um, I'm not sure there's really much else to show uh, this is a this is an extension table here that you can actually uh, pull off there's a uh, move this out of the way there's a storage compartment uh, back there that stores some stuff there's a light up there uh, but that's it if you have any questions shoot me a, a message on eBay thanks